All right, fam. We get paid to read these books. Formal education to pay your living. The self education to pay your fortune. This John Maxwell is preaching in this book. Teammates, we're over here in the law of victory, and we kind of uh, he's been talking about Gandhi. He's talking about Winston Churchill. He's talking about sports with Michael Jordan. And now he's over here. Now he's talking about winning in business, which is not what I like to talk about. And he's talking about Southwest Airlines. Long story short, getting the airline off the ground wasn't easy. They had one challenge after the other. But they were committed, and it took them, remember this, four years before they got their first plane off the ground. They had invested millions of dollars, countless amounts of time and energy, going to court back and forth, buying equipment, blah, 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 and it was four years before they took their first flight. Family, I didn't say four years before they made a profit. I said four years before they took their first flight. Teammates, and then after that, from 71 to 2006, good God, that's 30 day gum, seven years, woo-hoo-wee, 35 years. They went from 185 employees to 30,000 employees. They went from 108 passengers to 88 million passengers. They went from stockholder equity, which is huge, 3.3 million, to stockholder equity, 6.68 billion, with a B. And total assets, 22 million and 14 billion. Teammates, they changed your life, but in four, it took them four years to take the first flight. That's a lesson. Don't quit so soon. It takes time to build anything worth having. Now listen to this. Now this is huge. This is the summary of the Law of Victory chapter. He said the first step in practicing the Law of Victory is taking responsibility is, oh, is my fault. Everything is my fault. That, look, that's a whole meeting. For the success of the team, department, or organization you lead, it must become personal. Your commitment must be higher than your team members. Teammates, leaders eat last. Leaders lead by example. Leaders invest up front. Leaders have to have a bigger vision. Leaders have to understand seed time and harvest time. Leaders have to persevere. Your commitment must be higher than your team members. Your passion should be high. Your dedication must be unquestioned. Teammates, if you're not committed, why would anybody else commit to what we're trying to do? Teammates, there's one thing that I see what really hurts people in business and our type of business, or if you're you know, building a team, building a marketing organization, when you kind of halfway in, halfway out, you can't get anybody else to follow you. That, it takes people too long to commit to anything. Like they go, well, I don't know. I don't know. All oh, this uncertainty and doubt. That is why you're not winning. It's not the business don't work. It's change your mindset. All right, listen to this. He says, do you currently demonstrate that kind of commitment? If not, you need to examine yourself to determine if it is in you. If you search yourself and are unable to convince yourself to bring that kind of commitment, one of three things, one of three things is probably true. You're pursuing the wrong vision, you are in the wrong organization, or you are not the right leader for the job. Ooh, look, slap, 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 slap. And he made it sound so nice when he said it. He said, you pursuing the wrong vision. Meaning, what are you even doing? Get focused on what you're doing. Number two, you're in the wrong organization. Teammates, now that's scary when you're the leader and you're building your own organization. Well, or also, you know, once again, in our type of business, you know, you can get caught up in what your sideline or upline is doing. Teammates, you don't need all that. You need a downline. You need people that are following you. Number three is you are not the right leader for the job. And that's why we read in this book. Now, look, go on over here. The law of the big mo. We ain't going to get into the whole chapter, but he's saying in the law of the big mo, uh, you got to build some momentum. If things ain't going right, you got to you gotta turn it around and get some momentum going and get some little wins that'll lead to some big wins, get some success. I mean, do enough to get the daggum thing off the ground. Now, then he says this. 
And I'm going to close with this. So this guy, he's talking about uh, Ed Catmull, who was an animator filmmaker, worked at Disney, started, left that, went, started Pixar. Pixar started having some success. One thing led to another. Teammates, it was 1979 when he stuck when he when he got hired at Lucasfilm making films. It was 1991 before they made for Toy Story. 79 to 91. Teammates, that's a minute. And then after he got to Pixar, it was still four years later before they made Toy Story. Four years. Teammates, it takes time to win and be successful. Don't quit. The win, W-I-N, is guaranteed. Don't get so bound up with the win, W-H-E-N. You can be so disappointed with the win, the W-H-E-N, when it's going to happen, when this, when that, when this, when that. And then, then that creates this disappointment, this negative energy, and more doubt. And that makes it more difficult to attract people. You got to have, you got to change your mindset. Focus on abundance, focus on winning, and do the work. Do enough to create some momentum in your business, in your life. Love you guys. Hope it helps you. We'll run this play again tomorrow.